Hello everybody, how's it going? So no shit, there it was. I'm just hanging around waiting for another video to upload. It's uh, it's about cannibalism in Liberia. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here pretty soon. But anyway, I was sitting around and my brother called me and we started to reminisce on like the past. And I forgot, or I intentionally forgot, the fact that I used to get my ass beat regularly as a child by everybody, from my neighbors to my brother to people that didn't like my brother but couldn't take my brother. And then it got me thinking, I was like, huh, you know, I feel like people might wanna know why I got interested in fighting. So I'm 25, I've been learning MMA, and now I'm starting to get in boxing since I was 17 years old. And so now I'm at the point where I'm starting to figure out like, okay, do I wanna go all in and go professional or not? And so I was thinking, <laughs> what motivates an individual to wanna to step inside of a cage locked with another human being and have a fight, not to death, but it could lead to death, you know? And so that is something I think would be very fascinating. And like, what is the, the mental, side of it all. Like, how do you have to get into that sort of state of mind and like, what is the background of somebody who wants to do that? So on and so forth. So anyway, let's get right into it. So to give you guys an idea about how many times I got my ass kicked, I literally, this side of my nose, I can barely breathe through. So sometimes I feel like very, very nasally and pretty much, I guess it's kind of the equivalent of feeling like you have a cold all the time. And the doctors aren't really sure if I was born genetically with like a jacked up side of the nose or more than likely it's because I was punched in the face so many times that this airway right here is, I can barely breathe through it. So that's how bad it was, just to put it in perspective here. Now, growing up, my brother was very like strong and like fast and like aggressive and nobody messed with him. I was the opposite. I was short, I was fat, and I was also very sensitive and I didn't like to fight. <laughs> So I was a good target. And there were times too where it was like really bad to where like, I was like, oh my God, I might die here. And then one of my brother's friends comes out of nowhere and starts whooping everybody's asses. And I'm like, oh Jesus, I <laughs> guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run away now. So it was really bad was my point. And so there was like, every time I fought back too, I also got my ass beat like religiously, it was terrible. So anyway, once I started to lose a little bit of weight, I was about eighth grade. So I started losing a lot of weight. So I started running all the time and shit like that. So by the time my freshman year came up, I lost all this weight but I didn't gain any muscle. And so I was about 112 pounds and I still got messed with. By the end of my freshman year, I was 116 pounds and I still got, I mean, I got messed with a little bit less, but I still got messed with all the time. And it wasn't until I broke my hand, my, I was playing soccer, fell back, broke my hand. Anyway, broke my hand and I was like, that's it, I'm done. I'm just gonna like, just get way stronger than everybody and I'm gonna learn how to fight and I'm gonna start beating everybody's ass who starts to mess with me. Anyway, I started working out. I didn't actually start MMA until I was about 17 years old. And by that time I was so shy to where like, even if I threw a punch, I felt really bad about, cause I was like, oh my God, like what if it hurts them? But <laughs> that's the point. Anyway, I got hit so many times to so eventually, I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna start like, you know, throwing haymakers until they teach me how to actually punch. So that happened. The moment I started to get a lot better at fighting, <laughs> I was about 19 years old and I was like, yes, there we go. I'm starting to get way better at this. I'm gonna fuck everybody up. And by this time I started gaining weight too. So I went from 100 and, what was that? 116 pounds at the end of my freshman year. Senior year I was about 140. And so by this time I was about 175. And so I was like, yes, here we go. And then boom, played basketball, jacked up the tendons and ligaments in my foot. And then it was kind of, it, was, it wasn't too bad, but it was, it was bad enough. And then I threw something called a question mark kick. So you fake low and you go high and just crack someone right on the side of the head, drop some, I win, thankfully. Uh, but the guy was a dickhead too, by the way. He was a terrible human being. He wanted to try to bully somebody. He was walked in, he was new to the gym. And so he picked on me because he thought I was the best target. And it was also in front of my friends. But anyway, that happened. I got misdiagnosed four times, believe it or not. And so I destroyed, again, the tendons and ligaments, but it was something called capsulitis. So it was kind of like, if you imagine like a jammed finger times 10 on steroids, that was pretty much what happened there. And if you let it get bad, then it could, um, essentially it would weaken the tendons and ligaments. But because I got diagnosed so many times, because it's something that's rare, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse to the where I lost the ability to walk. But I still like to fight. And the reason is because I used to fight because I had to until I started to get a little bit better at it. And then I fought because it was very empowering. So I was like, okay, well, I mean, you know, it happens. It is what it is. And so I started doing what the doctors told me. I competed in sports at U of O as well, kind of like minor stuff, but I, not in, in MMA or, or boxing though. But I kept exercising because they told me it was okay. So I kept exercising and it got so bad, my foot to where I lost the ability to walk. So my whole motivation was I need to get back, and focus up, because my foot was injured for four years. I was like, I need to focus up, I need to get over this, and then get back to fighting because that was so freaking empowering to me, especially as somebody who got messed with so much. 
So anyway, got over that. And then a year later, which was last year, I worked at Amazon, bust my foot again, now I have to get surgery. <laughs> it's not terrible. Now I can train in boxing and stuff like that. But yeah, that's kind of that. The point though, is that I decided to try to do something that was personally empowering. And despite the fact that you can get super jacked up from fighting, the fact that it felt good at the end of the day, knowing that I could defend myself was the point. Anyway, moral of the story, don't be a dick and don't bully people. The end, that's why I became more interested in fighting. I was gonna say a fighter, but I was like, what is a fighter? Anyway, that's philosophically deep. Let's get into that later, but that's it.